Hey guys, it's Jenny and Nancy here with another live tutorial for you. I have two designs completely set up for us and we're just gonna do a quick run through. We're gonna show you how to do some crystal application here using some of our holiday festive stuff for Halloween and some chains which have been really popular. So first off, I'm gonna start with my Glitz Glue Gel Condensed in the 5G Pot. We do have a 5G Pot that comes with most of our kits. Um, we do also sell our 15G Pot as well in case you guys are looking for something a little more. Um, and if you have any questions throughout the video, please feel free to ask me. I'm starting with my twin tip brush and I have my number six gel end here. And I'm going to go ahead and get a good scoop of that. And I'm putting this on top of a nail that I'm using um, with MC dipping. So this is the color Aquarius. And then I do have a base coat on here that I cured for 15 seconds just to make sure that everything is gonna stick properly. Now when you're doing this with dipping or you're doing this with acrylic, you really wanna use your base coat because if you don't use your base coat and you just go straight on with your glue gel, you may have issues with peeling and we don't want that at all. So I'm gonna wipe this back into my pot. Then I've got a little paper towel here. I'm gonna wipe my brush off on the paper towel. The reason I'm wiping my brush off on the paper towel is because I don't want this brush to stick inside of my lid if I had it the right way around, excuse me. <laughs> and if it's nice and clean, it'll stay just like this. If you leave all that glue gel on there, it's gonna stick to the sides of the cap and it's gonna go like this and you wanna make sure that you're capping everything because if you don't, it's gonna cure in your brush and then you'll have ruined your brush. It's gonna cure in your pot, you'll have ruined your pot. So make sure you're closing everything. After you do your base coat, you cure for 15 seconds and you put your Glitz glue gel on, you're going to use your no wipe top coat and you're gonna go right on the top of that, okay guys? Hey, Shitty, how are you, sweetie? Hi, sweetie. How are you liking your products? Are you loving them? Speaking of which, we have a really good supporter, Star. Thank you so much, sweetheart, for all of your support. We love seeing every single time you order from us. It's so sweet. We're super, super happy to have you. Really reliable customer base here. All right, so now that I've got that on there, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to put my spider web and I don't really have an idea of how I wanted to do this. I just told Nancy that I wanted to use the spider web because I feel like it looks really cute with this blue in the background. And then I'm gonna use my chain. Ooh. And I think I'm just gonna lay this kind of just all over the nail. So let's see here. Ooh, that looks cool. And I'm trying to make sure all my links are falling in the same way. That way I don't have to feel like they're sticking up too much. Um, sometimes they're gonna agree with you, sometimes they're not. So you just need to mess around with it a little bit. There we go. And we will move this just like that. Ooh, I like that. There we go, how's that, Nancy? It kinda looks like a spider web on its own. You want me to cut it? You good? You good? I like it just like that, I think. Nancy's gonna give me something to cut it with. I'm gonna leave it like that. It doesn't have to be super connecting because I'm gonna put a crystal right there. There we go. Cut it for you me, Nancy. Cut it. Yeah, right there. Got it? I think I Perfect. got it. Perfect. Yep, you did. You got it. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. So we'll do just like 
that. That way we can have a little crystal right in the center of it. And I loved when we did our treasure chest nail last time. It ended up looking really cute. Studio 7413. Pretty. Thank you so much, Thank love. Thank you. There we go. So we'll do that. And then let's put some black on here to kind of give it a little bit more. Here. And ooh, we can use this one. I like doing these treasure chest nails. That's what I'm gonna call them. It's a really big size there. Use a little one. These. right in the center of that. This is really cute. Let's see, I know we have some smaller ones here. Hey, Aglo. She's like, thanks so much for the love and support. Thanks so much for tuning in. Thank you, guys. Yeah, move this one. Perfect. Thanks, down Nancy. Good. Yep. Down just a little bit. Yep. Perfect. beads in here too. Thanks, Nancy. You're welcome. And we don't have to put like our metal beads don't have to be particularly like in a specific spot. It's kind of cool. And they look like they're just kind of strewn about. Chest, huh? I know. That's what I like to call these ones, the treasure chest nails. Cause we have little like gold beads, little pieces of diamond. Okay, now once you have all your crystals on there the way that you want them, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna pop this into your lamp. You're gonna do that for 60 seconds, okay guys? Just to kind of give it a little bit more here. Let's put another little, maybe let's do a smaller one. There we go. Move that down just a bit. Perfect, I love it. Okay, so now that I've got that the way that I want it, like I said, I'm gonna pop this in the lamp for 60 seconds. And then we will put some precision glue around there. Just to make sure everything is completely on. Perfect, okay? So this is what it ends up looking like. There we go, Instagram, it's not focusing for some reason. Perfect, all right. So in the lamp for 60 seconds, and then if you guys are curious where you can find all this stuff, you're going to get it on glitzaccessoriesandsuch.com. And you can search under Halloween and all this stuff is going to pop up for you. And then if you use the code JennyW, you're going to get 10% off of your purchase, okay? Thank you, Mika. Thank you, sweetheart. On our next nail, we also have a base coat, and this is the MG Color Taurus. And we're gonna be doing something very similar, but we're gonna be using our skull head instead. And I really love the different colors that come in this crystal jar. 
So it's not just your typical AB. We do have some obsidian and we have uh, what Nancy calls golden dragon. Whereas where it's like this little Beetlejuice color. I think that's the one I'm gonna use just cause it's gonna pop really well. This one right there. So I'm gonna use that. You know what that color will look good too? For oh, Mardi Gras too. Yeah, like it would look great for Mardi Gras. Is that cool? So now I have my precision pen. I'm gonna pop this open. Keep your little red cap, do not throw that away. And then we're gonna go in, especially underneath this little spider web here. And we wanna make sure that we're filling that up so that none of it is sticking up because we don't want our client to feel that catching in her hair or his hair, however you would like your client to make sure that they don't have any issues with that. Okay, so I'm gonna go right in around this guy, same thing. You just wanna make sure everything is on there properly and that there's nothing sticking up. I don't want there to be any issues with it being pointed. I'm gonna go over all my metal balls, especially right in here where this chain and these crystals are, because I wanna make sure that those are on there securely. Anything that you feel like is gonna be sticking up too much. Never go on the top of your crystals. That's not cool, you guys. You wanna make sure that everything is still shiny and that's not gonna happen if you go on the top of your crystals. Okay, so I'm gonna go all around this little metal chain because I wanna make sure that that's gonna stick on there really well. And then we'll pop this back into the lamp and we are good to go. There we go. It looks gorgeous. Quick, easy, you can see how quickly I did that. This is a $25 to $30 nail depending on where you're at located in the United States or overseas because we do ship overseas guys just in case you're curious and then if you put your finger against the needle when you're putting this in it's going to be a little bit easier for you to get it in the hole every single time unfortunately my hands are a little shaky right now there we go and then like I said with this next nail we're gonna get started with the same process. I have one coat of our base coat on there and it can be any base coat you want. Just cure that for 15 seconds. And then I'm gonna go straight in with my Glitz Glue Gel Condensed right on the top of that using my twin tip brush with our number six gel in. I'm just gonna get a dollop of that on here. A little more than I did last time because I don't think I did quite enough. I had to fill a little more with my glue gel precision pen than I wanted to. So I'm gonna put just a big dollop right in the center there because I know that's where I'm gonna stick my skull. And then I'm gonna go down the length of the nail. And I think what I'm gonna do on this one is something really simple, but I really like these black crystals and I think it's gonna pop really well on the top of this. So I'm just gonna go right down the center of this, make sure I've got enough Glitz glue gel and that way when I swipe my top coat, I don't have to worry about whether or not I have enough. So right back into the pot wipe it off with your paper towel after you've done that then you can recap everything like i said do not get this in the cap of your brush you want to be careful when you're doing that otherwise your brush is going to go like this it's going to cure in there it's going to be horrible hey aunt mary my aunt is here watching us your Nancy. mom's watching you earlier do you know i know she's here she just said hey she's hey mary you. that's how i knew my aunt was watching so sweet. And then we're going to go right on top of our Glitz Glue Gel Condensed with the top coat, right? So base coat, cure for 15 seconds, immediately put this on, immediately put this on, and then you put on your crystals. Okay, guys? So we're going to do... You want to float this on the top. You don't want to press too hard. You do want this to just glide right over the top of that. And once you get that on there, you can go ahead, make sure that your nail isn't too bulky. You can do that by using your brush or you can use your gloves or you can use your little paper towel, but do not use your fingers. 
We've learned an important lesson here. I have very awesome mentors who guide me and keep me from ruining my hands. So I'm gonna put, oh, holy cow, look at that. It's so pretty. Oh my God, I love it. And then I'm gonna use my black crystals and I'm going to go down the center of this. And I'm going to try and get, first I'm gonna do some bigger sizes and then I'm gonna go smaller. I'm gonna do a bigger one right on the top of that. There we go. Then we'll start going smaller. Nope, same size. And we'll go smaller. And I'm going to move them around with my dotting tool end here. I like to do strips down the center because I think it looks really cool and then your client is gonna love it. I've never had anyone not want something like this. That school is blurring with the color, so cool. And then, but like in the sun, that color is gonna shift to that dark, deep purple and you're gonna see it immediately. It's so pretty. Then I'll just put one gold bead right at the end of it. I'm just trying to make sure everything is completely lined up that's straight on there. Because I don't want any to be out of place. Oh, it looks so pretty. And let's put like a couple of gold beads at the top of this. And like I said, guys, if you're trying to get a hold of us, honestly, the best way to do that is by email. And you want to get a hold of us on email at info at glitzaccessoriesandsuch.com. And if you want to call us for any reason, you can call us at 206-771-5086. Do you think we'll put a couple of the pumpkin spice crystal on that? And four corner of the school it looks stamped stand out. You think? I think that's why I did the gold bead. Maybe I add another gold bead here. It looks cool though. It looks it's better. It looks cool. Ooh, I like that, Nancy. Yeah, it looks so pop. You know. There we go. Just making sure everything is all lined up. So cute, okay. I know I wasn't supposed to do that, but I couldn't help myself. All right, so I'm gonna pop this in the lamp for 60 seconds, guys, and then we'll go around the skull with our precision pen. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna show you what our last nail turned out like. So here is this beauty. Here's our little treasured web, right? Treasure chest. Treasure chest web. Our web nail. Stuck on you, huh? So this, like I said, this is on top of the color Aquarius. This is by MG. This is a dipping color. I did two coats of this and one coat of clear, and then I based the top of that. And then our other color that we're using, that really pretty green color, is the Taurus. I really love these colors because the glitter is so compacted that honestly two dips is all I needed. So if you wanted to do like a base color underneath it, you could, um, but you actually don't have to. 
So it's not see-through or anything like that. It's completely opaque. There's no transparency at all with that. Thank you so much, Aglo. Okay. Here's this baby. Holy shoot. It's so pretty. I don't know if you guys can see that deep purple shift. Kind of when I like turn it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can yeah. see that. It looks beautiful. It's so pretty. I'm really glad that I picked that one. This is like if you wanted to do like a subtle. Oh, this is really well done. Okay, guys, so I'm just going to mimic showing you because I actually don't have to because I did a really good job with the glue gel. But you do want to make sure, just feel and make sure that everything is completely connected and that there's no little space there. And I'm going to put just a little dot right in the center of these three little beads just to make sure that they stay on where I put them. And I'm going to put one right here at the tip because that one probably will have issues. So now I'm going to pop this in the lamp for 60 seconds. And then we're completely done. And like I said, when you're looking for all this stuff on our website, you can just search Halloween and you're going to find it all there. And then if you want to get a hold of us, you can call us at 206-771-5086 or you can email us at info at glitzaccessoriesandsuch.com. But when you're checking out, guys, do not forget to use that code JennyW because you will get 10% off of your entire order. And earlier, I don't know if you're here or not, Star, but we are so grateful for you to use our code all the time and use all our products. We are so happy that we get to see whatever you're doing. We don't, I don't know if you're on Instagram or not. I think you're on Facebook. Um, but I would love to see some posts from you in Crystal Nail Obsession so we can see all your pretty beautiful work. Well, just mention about Crystal yeah. Nail Obsession so people can join and post it. Yeah, don't forget, guys, that you can go on Crystal Nail Obsession, which is our Facebook group, and you can post whatever you want to there. We accept all kind of nail stuff. As long as it's nails, it's accepted. I'm a moderator, so anything that I see during a, the day, I'm going to accept that. And then if you guys are like trying to connect with each other, it's a really good way. Hold on a second, let me clean this baby off. Oh my God, this turned out so pretty, you guys. Thank you guys so much for a wonderful live video. We're gonna go say happy birthday to Jaden. It's his birthday today, so we did a quicker live video for you guys. But like I said, we do this every Thursday and Friday. I will see you next week on Thursday on the dot. Have a great weekend, guys. Thank you so, so, so much. We are so, so happy. Oh, and don't forget, guys, we're still doing our giveaway. So please go check out that giveaway. Make sure that you're sharing and you're liking. Don't just like it. You do need to share it as well. Okay, guys? Thank you so much. Thank you, Aglo. Thank you, Gabrielle. Mocha. Shitty. How are you guys? Thank you. We'll see you next time. Bye.